you guys? It's Dini B. You're watching the Trash Dash. And in this video, I'm going to be showing some uh, recent pickups I got. So excluding like the stuff I got from like Dollar Tree and stuff, this is most of what I got from um, Amazon and Full Moon and a couple other places. This is Hamilton Book. All right, so first up, I got a Giallo Gore in Venice, also known as Giallo in Venice. I heard I had heard this was um, nastier than the New York Ripper. And um, personally, it didn't. I didn't really like it that much. It was okay. I might have to give this one a rewatch or something. I thought this was a little bit dull. I don't know. Maybe on a rewatch I'll like it more. But yeah, it's Gore in Venice or Giallo in Venice. And next up I got uh, Cecilia. This is a Jess Franco movie. So this is not the most exciting movie or anything. But um, if you just want a movie to put on and completely relax and chill out, this is a great movie for that. It's extremely mellow. And then it's full of like beautiful cinematography of like castles and plants and stuff. And then... The, it's kind of like a love story about this lady who's trying to find her passion in a uh, loveless marriage or something like that. And then it's kind of like a soft car porno from the 70s. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, this is a good one. All right, next up I got another Jess Franco one. This is Exorcism, also known as Demoniac. And uh, I picked it up uh, mainly for the horror cut. Demoniac, De Demoniac, I don't know how you say it. But this is starring uh, Lena Romay. I kind of have a, a little movie crush on Lena Romay right now. So I'm kind of going through a bunch of stuff starring her. Next up, I picked up uh, my favorite Western movie, actually. The Valdez Horses, also known as uh, Chino. I always call it Chino. Uh, I'm glad they gave me the slipcover. I'm not a huge slipcover collector, but I love both versions of this artwork. So it's cool I can have this and then put this on the other side. And I find this to be like one of Charles Bronson's most underrated movies. Completely cool. He plays like kind of an outcast guy. He's half Native American, so there's like a lot of prejudice against him. And uh, he's a horse taming farmer or a horse keeper, whatever you call it. There's this one horse he has that's kind of like untamable, but he, he has a re high respect for it. And that's kind of like a metaphor for who he is. And then uh, Jill Ireland is in this too. She's beautiful in it. And then this one has an awesome uh, music soundtrack by uh, Guido and Marizo DeAngelis. All right, next up, uh, Full Moon actually sent this one as a free gift. The Seed People. A lot of times they send me a free gift if I order something. So that was pretty cool that they did it. So I actually have never seen this one. And I looked up the trailer and it looks pretty cool. Seed People. All right, next up from Hamilton Book, I picked up Psycho Gothic Lolita. <laughs> and I pretty much picked it up for the name alone, plus it was only $1.99. And I looked up the trailer and it actually looks really cool. It kind of looked like Evil Dead or something like that. Or um, there's one called Tokyo Gore Police. It said it's kind of like in the style of that. All right, then I got another one from Hamilton Book, another $1.99 or $1.98 or whatever it is. Auteur. Um, I've been kind of wanting to see this for a while. I've seen it around. I don't know if it's some kind of slasher movie or what, but it looked kind of cool from the cover. And next up I got Slaves. This is another Jess Franco movie, also known as, uh, I believe, like Swedish Nympho Slaves or something. But uh, Lino Romay is in this one again, and uh, she plays a pimp in this. She's kind of like hypnotizing these girls and making them work for her and stuff. Pretty cool movie. All right, and then last up, I picked up uh, Repo Man, the Criterion Collection um, DVD. I used to have Repo Man on VHS, and I wanted to rewatch it because I was kind of watching some Emilio Estevez movies and stuff. And uh, I, I was like looking for it and everything. I was like, holy shit, I don't got that no more. So I picked this up. Comes with like a bunch of cool artwork and stuff, and awesome special features on this thing. It's a two disc thing. I'm sure the Blu-ray even looks better, but the DVD is, still looks pretty cool. Really cool, unique movie. I used to rent this all the time in high school. I haven't seen it in a long time, so it was cool to, see, to watch that again. Oh, and I lied. This was not last up. Last up, I got these two cool posters from Full Moon. Kind of like old reprints of the Wizard video ones they got. Picked up the poster for Zombie Lake and Blood Castle. They look still really cool. And especially the size, like they fit perfect on um, my wall between my video shelf and uh, my record player. And I always loved the artwork on Zombie Lake, so it was really cool that they had that. All right, guys, that's going to do it. This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dish. I'm sorry I'm a little sleepy in this video. Let me know what you think of those. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.